Thank you so much for tuning in to She's All Over the Place with Kiriaki. That's me. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Culture Kids podcast. I'm Sia, and I'm here with Leo Matchett from Decentralized Pictures Foundation. So, Leo, tell us a little bit about what DCP is and what you're working on. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, so yeah, DCP is a 501c3 non for profit foundation to support the cinematic arts, to give opportunities to artists, to the next generation of artists that we're looking to discover. We use a proprietary software platform to, in the fairest way possible, determine who's deserving of the support we can offer and the opportunities uh, that are available. So how did you get into all of this? Like, it seems like so beautifully crafted, like this whole system you have built out the community. Like if you haven't gone on decentralized pictures yet, you're missing out because there's so many cool conversations happening in that space for filmmakers and artists. Um, So yeah, tell us a bit about your background and how you even got to this place. Yeah, so um, life is strange, you know, how you uh, <laughs> yeah. just end up in certain places. So yeah, I mean, I went to business school, uh, then uh, a friend of mine was doing a film, He was he, I grew up in Canada, and um, when I graduated business school, my friend was at U of T, the School of Cin- uh, Cinematic Arts, I believe, and um, he said, hey man, you want to help me produce my film? And it seemed like a super interesting thing to do. and. We, we created this, this amazing piece of art from a story and it was very rewarding and I kind of got that bug. And once you get that film bug, you know, you're, you're hooked. <laughs> it's you're hard hooked. to get rid of it. <laughs> it's yeah. hard to get rid of it. Um, so we, uh, I went to film school. Uh, I started interning at various production companies, started freelancing. I was lucky enough to get looped in with some amazing filmmakers. I pr- helped produce some independent films and I ended up with a staff uh, producing position eventually. I, I had always kind of been a nerd and, and worked <laughs> on smartphone applications when in, in 2008 when the iPhone and Android phones came out. And so when I discovered blockchain, which was quite early, I also caught that bug. Yeah. <laughs> And so as with a film background and, and, you know, somewhat of a tech background, you know, I started conceiving ways of how can we use this technology to Mm -hmm. make the film industry more fair and to, you know, really empower filmmakers. And so when when Ethereum came out in 2015, mid 2015, uh, and smart contracts were all of a sudden a reality, it was like, oh my God, now now we can actually Mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm. And um, so I I went to to my boss at the time, who was Roman Coppola. I said, we create, myself and Mike Masante, our other co-founder created a sort of a diagram or a sort of initial uh, outline of how Mm -hmm. we could use this technology to help discover new filmmakers. And um, he loved it, and it was very in line with the, the ethos of American Zoetrope, the, right, the company yeah. that, that his dad started in 1969, you know, to, to really create story and, and, mm-hmm. and uh, like artist-driven content. And so, yeah, we, we started, we first raised a little bit of money to, to start building out the application and, and form the 501c3. It's actually quite difficult to, to get a 501c3 yeah, off the ground. Yeah, I can ground. imagine. Yeah, and and so, um, you know, we spent many years and it was, you know, that was 2017 when we first did that and we didn't actually launch the application until earlier this year. So we spent a lot of time crafting and designing and figuring out the fairest way to launch this app. And uh, yeah, so I probably answered that a little bit (laughs) long-winded, but that's basically how we ended up at this point now. No, I love it. And like, it's so cool that blockchain is becoming... Uh, dare I say ma- more mainstream these days like I feel like it's not such a strange conversation to have with someone you know what is crypto what is an NFT like it's very it's become mainstream and I think I love that do you like that or do you think it's kind of weird that it's like totally on everyone's minds right now NFTs crypto <clears throat> well you know I-, I feel like the technology is there and it will empower individuals you know self-sovereignty of of monetary value, self-sovereignty of identity and information. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Web3 is a very powerful thing. In order for that technology to truly help people, people have to know about it. It has right. to become yeah. mainstream. You know, you need people to adopt it in order for it to actually have change in society and, and to transition from, from Web2 to Web3 is, is going to take that. So, yeah. you know, as much as, you know, it's cool to be in this <laughs> sort of niche club at the beginning where things are just sort of starting to yeah. happen. You can't hang on to that forever, no. right? It's like, 
you know when you discover that band and you're like oh this band's so cool and you tell people about it and then all of a sudden people are like it's a couple years later and everyone's like they're, yeah. they're so big and you're like oh I, I used to like that band but now they're yeah, too mainstream I was the so, OG um, <laughs> I, I, you know, they used to be cool but no for me it's like there's real value and real you know it can make real change in, in so many people's lives especially you know yeah, huge populations totally. of this earth are, are still unbanked which is insane right it's like yeah. um and, and so there's there's so many use cases for it and there's so many approaches to to utilizing it within business and for in our case it's it's really about talent discovery and and content curation and, and discovering you know the next the most deserving artists uh, that we can try and help through our network and our film funds Wow, I love that. Yeah, no, everything you said, totally there. Uh, chef's kiss, it's great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'm excited to see where DCP goes like a few years from now, like what artists will come out of that, what films will come out of that. Like, it's just really exciting to be part of that um, journey. Yeah, I think uh, for us, what's next is really reaching out to more people that want, that share similar sentiment, yeah. you know, that believe that arts do truly shape culture and it's not right that totally. a very small non-diverse group of individuals truly have a chokehold on yeah. what that culture yeah. is you know people say oh well you know i can decide what i go see in the theater but it's already gone through this yeah. gatekeeper process <laughs> in order to get to the theater like yeah. that's why we're, we're starting at that development phase right yeah. it's like how do i uh get my idea in front of the right people i don't know anyone in hollywood or i, I, I don't have any access to funds or i don't have you know proximity mm -hmm. um you're on the outside looking in trying to figure out navigate how you can get in and, and you know make your film that's why we're here we're taking unsolicited material which yeah many places in hollywood and around the world they big production company no, no, yeah no. they, yeah, they exactly. won't accept unsolicited material for a variety of reasons but um you know we're doing that and and we're relying on our community to tell us like who are the best filmmakers in this group that deserve you know your support and yeah that should exist right a democratically yeah, selected yeah, yeah. Or, or user consensus uh, to decide which art people want to see. You know, it's giving the world or the population of the world the ability to actually try and help shape culture. Yeah. Um, and, and it's not like they can't already do that. I mean, people can do street art yeah, and they can do course. things. Yeah, of course, yeah. But it's tough. Like, you got to get, you know, if you're a writer, you got to get a publisher. If right. you're a singer, you got to get a label. You know, like, there's these... Yeah. And, and it's changed. Like, you know, YouTube amazing platform obviously and, and so many people have been discovered through it but it's still very difficult to break through the yeah, noise yeah um so we're utilizing our you know american zoetrope has been around for 50 years there's you know long before my time it won you know 15 academy awards and over i think 70 academy award nominations yeah. and so we're sort of in the inside yeah trying to look out right, and say out, hey yeah. Tell us who is on the outside that we should try and, and bring in and, and give them access to our network. And, you know, maybe they need an agent. Maybe they need a yeah. manager. Um, because we, we truly believe that, uh, you know, everyone, if they're talented and other people agree they're talented, then we're going to help try and give them a shot. And that, that's what it's all about. Um, and so what's next and what's in the future for the next year? I think we would love to be able to say we helped launch this person's career. Our success is really going to be how well we helped the people that we try to support. Like the success of the people we support is going to reflect on us and how we succeed is really going to be determined by that. So um, provide as many opportunities. Oh my God. Sorry about that. Um, provide as many opportunities as we can. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, and you know hopefully discover new talent and and you know make some great art along the way. I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Where can we find you guys on social? Obviously, everyone's on social. So where where where's it where's it at? <laughs> yeah. So our website's decentralized dot pictures. Our name with with a dot in the middle. Our Twitter is. DCP underscore foundation on uh, Instagram we're decentralized underscore pictures um, we're if you put us into Google yeah. a bunch will show up Google so, will yeah. show you all the things yeah well thank you so much Leo it was a pleasure talking to you and uh, I love the whole movement that's happening so keep it going thank you <laughs> thanks for having me we'll see you in the next episode of Culture Kids bye <laughs> bye <laughs> thank you so much for joining us we'll see you next time Kiriaki over and out <laughs>